This was the era of the Group B Rally Supercars. For the driver, the mere task of keeping the kicking, bucking, roaring machine under control often seemed enough. World Rally spectators in Europe exhibit inexplicable bravado by standing only a few feet from the rally course. Rally accident, steering hard over, wheels locked up, and heading straight off. Just look at the effort it requires to get Toivonen and co driver Ewa Pirinen back on the stage. And bear in mind that at the end of all this, they still managed to finish fourth. In the mid-80s, it wasn't only the cars, but everything that surrounded them that turned the World Rally Championship into a great technological exercise. The Group B cars made such an impact that motorsports fans will never forget. It was no coincidence that these cars acquired the nickname Monsters. They were so fast, so untamed and so aggressive that nobody could get to grips with them. Not the spectators, and sometimes not even the drivers. <laughs> For a competitor, it must be like driving through a human tunnel. The spectators' numbers and enthusiasm were increasing out of hand. Any error by these fast group B cars will immediately result in catastrophe. Big events draw crowds of more than a million people each, and the interest still grows as word spreads of the exploits of these stars, of men and of machines. Many competitors complained of spectators running across the stage almost as if this were some sort of modern mechanical bullfight. The fierce of power and speed of the Group B cars simply served to highlight the scale of the spectator problems. And away goes one television camera that is worth £30,000. It was a treacherous task to drive any Group B car to its limits. The quick drag became a ritual that symbolized the rigors of rally driving. Some even argued they were smoking for the sake of their health. For me it was of course a fantastic uh, period where you had a big competition but also a fantastic life. Driving skill at this level is so far removed from everyday motoring. It's like comparing mountain climbing to riding an escalator. Even the way a rally driver brakes is special. Approaching a slow corner, Altonen stabs the brake hard with his right foot and downshifts, using a technique known as heel and toe. When you drive every corner as if it was your last corner. <laughs> I tried to keep the steering wheel on my hands. I think that's the best tactic. It was only a matter of time before power like this went to one or other of the driver's heads. he loses control of the Ford RS200 and plows into the crowd, killing four. That's where I'm stopping. I've got my own conscience. I'm not prepared to drive between people at 120 miles an hour. Just no way. I'm not going. No, you're not okay. going. Anyway. Maybe. I am only lunch here, but anyway, I'm not going. Another five mile an hour more, you know, and I would have been in them. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. And I mean, I don't want to continue.